Hi everybody, welcome to On the Glide Slope. We are going to continue our How to Simulate series today with how to simulate a soft field takeoff. We are a beam the numbers, or where the numbers would be, at Lakeside Municipal in Oregon, which is 9S3 on the charts. It's a 2100 foot grass field right by the um, Oregon Dunes National Monument. And uh, we're going to make our turn to base here in a minute and uh, practice a soft field landing, presuming that this is a soft grass field. And the general procedure for a soft glass grass landing in an airplane like the Cessna 172 from A2A, which we're flying today, is to uh, make your approach as you would make your normal approach. We're extending our downwind leg here a little bit while I talk. Um, make your approach in terms of normal flaps and the rest. Uh, try to come in and then uh, low over the field and then to gently cruise over the field without touching down too firmly rather than the short field where we want to make firm contact and then hit the brakes. With the soft field, you have to presume it's grassy and muddy, and we want to come along and touch down gently and keep the front wheel off the turf as long as we can. So uh, that's the general idea, and with no further ado, let's give it a shot. First notch flaps. We're awfully tight to the field here because of the pattern I flew, so we're probably just going to turn straight to it and then get lined up. We are over the uh, Orbix Pacific Northwest or Northern California scenery here. Fuel pump on, landing light on, carp heat on. Okay, the field is tucked in here in this little town kind of a delicate approach. It's got some hills on each side. We may even bonk it. We'll try our best not to. No glide slope. Get the airplane trimmed. Doing 80, which is about right. Next notch of flaps. I haven't flown the A2A 172 in a while. I forgot how fun it is and how much it feels like the real thing. Looks like we might have a little bit of a crosswind. And again, this is a longer than normal final here because we are uh, flying off that extended downwind leg. Okay, 70 knots. File flaps. ourselves to trim pretty well. Now, I always tend to flare these A2A Cessnas. It doesn't happen in the Piper, but I tend to balloon on flare in the Cessnas for whatever reason. We're going to try not to do that today. This would not be a bad short field approach as well, actually. Okay. And we want to come in at our short field approach speed, 63 knots. We're just about at. We can pull up a little bit here over these trees. There you go, we're at 65. Getting pretty close. Work it between these trees here. There we are, 63. Nose up. And again, presume it's a soft, muddy field, so we just want to cruise, keep it up, 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 fly right over the field. Keep the nose up. And then put the nose front wheel down. So, there you go, soft field landing. That actually went pretty well in this Cessna. The buck kicker is rumbling as we make our way across this turf field. And it looks like we've got some little airplanes down here from Orbix, which is kind of cool. You never know what they're going to put at little airports like this in their regional scenery packages. Looks like we've got some cubs down here. So that is how to do a or simulate a soft field landing. Again, normal approach, you want to land at your 
Short field uh, landing speed in the Cessna, it's well, 60, I think 63 knots, might be 59, it's 63 in the Piper. And then uh, touch down gently over the field, kind of cruising over it, keep the nose wheel off, and then put the nose wheel down at the last second. That is the general approach. And uh, we'll park over here next to this red cub, or mowl, or whatever that is. Which includes some of the hangars, I think that's from the new HD scenery pack as well, from Rex Simulations. Right next to these people's homes. Honey, we're here for Thanksgiving. So, that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Again, that was at Lakeside 93S in uh, Oregon, right by the, uh, right by the um, Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. Fuel pump off, lights off. Thanks again for watching on the Glide Slope. If you want more information about the basement, basement simulator, go to www.onthegliDeslope.net, which also includes some basic plans which I put up recently that might help you build your own. And uh, thanks for watching.